So it's also possible in this machine we can have the deeper magnet with the field winding still coming around here. So we have a bigger magnet. So now with no field current, and we increase the field current and the flux is now going through the rotor and generating the EMF. So here, the original motor with no magnets, the new motor with the magnets has a higher flux at all the MMM. Now, in the next uh, case study, we're going to talk about the generator. And this is very important for a generator because you said last night, you said, where does the EMF come from when you have no magnets on the rotor? Now, if you have failed current, you get EMF. But when you start the generator, you have no current, no voltage. So you have to have some starting flux. So here, with no failed current, we have a starting flux. So we can uh, use the shape of the lamination in different ways that if we put the field in the corner, then we can have more space for the but um, the first machine with the magnets, this is difficult to manufacture because it's uh, four pieces and you have to hold it all together. But with this lamination, still one piece lamination and you just put in the magnets after winding. So, the, another way to do it 
is to take this field slot and this field slot and we turn it to 100% magnet. But field and field we leave as with no magnet, just the winding. <coughs> 只做两个这个磁铁嘛所以我一直讲有电磁铁跟永磁嘛所以有两个磁铁方法做成磁铁方法做成磁铁方法 So, with just the magnets, this is uh, magnetized like that. We have so that's one position. And if we now increase the current in the field winding, so here there is no no current in the field. Zero current. But in the next picture, we have the current in the field winding. And now we have changed the flux pattern. We still have the magnet, but we also have the field flux in the top and bottom as well. And now in this machine, we have the original motor with no magnets and the new machine with two magnets. They have much more flux at all so, if, if this was just simple, the original machine fixed permanent magnet, then it would be constant because you couldn't vary the flux. But here we have fixed permanent magnet plus the field one。那么，假如是没有电磁铁的话，没有，那么这这磁磁性是一直这样平的嘛？那现在是增加的话，那是增加量，磁铁增加量是一样，但是这个电磁铁是一直增加嘛？哦，所以两个价钱就就就加加
有这个磁铁，也有这个线圈，电磁铁跟永磁两个做成的发电机，中立的正红，谁讲正红？谁正红？哎、欸，正红嘛，正红嘛，哎。So we want to design two kilowatt and three kilowatt generators. We need to also have fifty percent overload for thirty seconds. 那么他要做一个两 k 两千瓦跟三千瓦的这个发电机，那么可以呢，三十秒钟内可以有五十 percent 的负载，过负载。Now the the rotor, because it's very rugged, is big mechanical advantage. 那么这个转子非常非常强非常强壮嘛，哈，不容易坏了，这是它非常大的一个优点。And the field and armature are on the stator. 磁场跟这个阿巴恰那个电池都都在一个钉子上面去。That allows us to control the excitation very easily. 很容易的控制这个计时线、计时电流。So we can control the output voltage using either the field or the armature. 那么可以那个调调压了哈，电压可以稳定的调压，因为负载不同的压，这个电压可以稳定的调压，靠这个磁场电磁铁来调压了。And the stationary permanent magnets give us the initial voltage. 那么这个永永磁、永磁可以让你做盛磁，可以让这个发电机能够启动起来。So this is the stator lamination, and for this one, the uh, lowest cost manufacturing route is just a small magnet at the back, because the important thing here is to generate the initial voltage. So the simplest magnet system is enough to generate the initial voltage. <coughs> 他就把这个电磁铁呢放在上面，就是使它产生一个长磁，呃，盛磁嘛，能够放进去启动起来，所以这个非常省成本。那 the magnets、uh, can be simple rectangular block。它是，呃，电磁铁很简单，就是长方形的电磁铁，不，不是电磁铁，永磁哦，磁铁吧哦。So the field winding is in the same slot as the magnet. Ah, 那个电磁铁的线圈是跟磁铁同样槽孔里面。And then the armature winding is in the other six. 那么电束是其他六个槽放六，放在其他六个槽。And the rotor has six teeth. And the rotor has six teeth. So here we see stator and rotor mounted on the engine. And these are the magnet sections. This is, this is welding, but this is the magnet here. Yeah. So this is... 呃，是那个发电机装在这个引擎上，因为引擎要带动发电机嘛。那么这个是磁铁嘛？这边是那个铁芯焊接部分，不是磁铁吗？这是磁铁，这也是磁铁。装在引擎上要用要用的话，这是磁铁啊，这进进灶啊，是磁铁。Electronics to convert the generated EMF into useful voltage. So we have the armature and the field. This is to make the electric generator into useful voltage. This is to make the electric generator into useful voltage. This is to make the electric generator into useful voltage. This is to make the electric generator into useful voltage. And then on this side, we have the DC to AC inverter for 230 volt, 50 hertz, 120 volt, 60 hertz. 右边是那个直流变焦的变频，那么有两百三十伏特的五十赫兹跟一百二十伏特的六十赫兹。
两种规格。And fin binding is, we call this in shunk, it's uh, in parallel with the armature winding. So we can use the pulse width modulation on this switch to control the fin current. So, and also we can control the armature winding to determine the DC voltage. Then the output inverter sinusoidal PWM. So we have um, the, the armature and field IGPTs and the output inverter. So the uh, 50 hertz output and the armature control on this side. This is the uh, first demonstrator prototype. This is the first demonstrator So this is the startup of the generator with no load. So it initially the the magnet produces the first EMF. And then we can increase the fin current to give us the full so this is the DC supply on the between the generator and the output inverter. We have DC and going up to four hundred volts DC. And this is the output voltage, 50 hertz, rises to 230 volts RMS. So if we um, look here, we zoom, use the uh, zoom in this region, you see the 50 hertz output, 230 volts. So we can see this uh, cursor to this cursor, one cycle. And the frequency, 50.02. RMS 230. But at the moment, no load. 
，现在是五载了、哦。啊，有载的话就要调整那个磁场的线圈定律来负载要变动哈、哦。So now we have two thousand sixty eight watts output. So this is the load current and the output voltage. 这上面第一次啊，现在我会加到二零六八瓦特输的输出的话，上面是电流波形，啊，这边是那个电压波形，有一点点那个斜波了哈。At the the this trace is the phase current。那么这个是磁场电流，为什么？它要随负载调整它的磁场电流大小嘛，因为电压稳维持稳定嘛，所以说磁场电流有变化。So the the phase current is being controlled. But also there is some induced voltage, like sensorless, in the field wind. So the field current goes up and down. Oh, this is, 好像是无刷呃无感测是一样，它一定要追踪负载哈，啊电电流要一定要，即使电流一定要大大小小哈来变动。So this is the waveform you get if you start the engine with the full load connected. So two kilowatts is already connected when you start the engine. This is in the engine with the full load connected. So we can see the engine with the full load We can see the load current increasing in green and the output voltage increasing but still stabilizes and maintains 235 volts, Electric motor. So on the generator, if you want to start a large induction machine, a compressor, then as the machine accelerates, it draws a lot of power. I see. Cow, or or or, 有时候你这个发电机用在感应机的话，那感应机启动电流很大嘛，等于说对发电机来讲是一个过载状态下哈，那么它可以过载一百五十 percent 或者多五十 percent 过载，是这样可以。But if the if the power remains at high power, then the generator shuts down after thirty seconds. Yes, but it's maybe damage to the engine. Yes. No, no generator. Yes. Ah, he said, "Oh, ah, thirty seconds of the shutdown. Oh, if he wants to 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 stop, if he doesn't stop, the engine will fail. Not the gas engine will fail." 引擎可能比较更重要哈。So this is、uh, if if you start a、um, an industrial vacuum cleaner, it draws very heavy current for short period as it accelerates. 这个是启动一个工业用的那个真空吸尘器哈的样子，那么可能是用在感应中机啊，因为一启动的话。那个吸收电电源非常大，吼，这是一个样一个一个一个一个一个例子例子。So you can see when we switch on, initially the output voltage dips because we have no field current. 那么原来电压这么高嘛，吼，稳定了两百多、三百多电压嘛，但是一一启动的时候呢，电流增加嘛，电流增加电流，吼，啊，就是。电量马上降，因为那时候那个我们没办法给它计时嘛，不知道嘛。啊，看它知道的话就计时给它越来越计时，那么就是电量越来越稳定这样。刚刚那个电量降的很大，哦，降的很高了，一启动嘛，电量马上掉下来。But then we increase the field current and we get the voltage back to two hundred and thirty. 啊，电量降很高，它就知道要加加磁场了哦，所以这个这个时候电磁铁就发挥作用，因为有时没办法作用啊，电磁也发挥作用，那赶快加。电流，那么电磁铁的电磁场增加，那么电流起来了，所以电磁铁有好处是这个，这个很大的好处
So the voltage dips for about 200 milliseconds. But during during acceleration, we supply 2,500 watts to the motor. Also, uh, for some heating loads like the hot air hot air gun for paint stripping. They, when it is on half heat, it's half rectified. So we have the power, full power for half the AC cycle and just a very small motor current in the other half because the heater is on half power. But the output inverter, a little bit distorted, but maintains very good output voltage. We also, from the generator, we have a low voltage armature winding to battery charging. And the, this is showing the current and output voltage from the low voltage winding. So we can charge the a 12 volt battery, we can charge with um, the current variable current. So the flux switching generator is very mechanically and also thermally very robust. The simple magnets are used to self-excite the generator. Variable speed, but constant output voltage and constant output frequency. And we have very fast dynamic control and also 50% overload with automatic protection. We can produce 230 volt 50 hertz and 120 volt 60 hertz from a single design. And also offer the battery charging output as well. Now, this machine, our prototype is a gasoline engine, but it would also be suitable for wind power generator because the speed range of a wind powered machine is very wide. So the field control gives us constant voltage over wide speed range. 
，所以可以用在种种的发电机用途上面去，不只用在一般现在用的氢化铝。So we pause and have a break there.